OK, so just one more problem here using the law of cosines. So the lengths of the diagonals of a parallelogram are 8 feet and 12 feet. We want to find the lengths of the short sides of the parallelogram if the diagonals intersect at an angle of 24 degrees. So let's see if I can make a sort of parallelogram there. That looks, uh, looks OK. So the diagonals. It says the diagonals intersect at an angle of 24 degrees. So this angle, that'll be our angle of 24 degrees. Um, again, for a par parallelogram, uh, recall that the, the diagonals, uh, they intersect. Uh, they are, uh, it cuts the diagonals in half. So uh, one parallelogram had a diagonal of 8 feet. So if that gets cut in half, one side will be length 4, the other will be length 4. Also, one side had 12 feet, so if you cut that in half, it'll be 6 and 6. Okay, so we're trying to find uh, the length of the short sides. Well, that would be opposite. Uh, I mean, if you think about the other angles, since they add up to 180, this angle down here would have to be, what would it be, 156. Uh, so certainly this side would be much longer than this side. So really we're trying to figure out the length of that side. Well, let's kind of make a slightly bigger triangle here. So I'm just kind of looking at that one little left corner, bottom left corner, uh, or I guess it's the top left corner of my parallelogram. One side is 6, uh, one side has length 4, I know that this is, again, 24 degrees. And we're just trying to find the length of the shorter side. So I'm going to call it C. So here we'll just use the law of cosines. So we would get um, C squared equals 6 squared plus 4 squared minus 2 times 6 times 4 times cosine of 24 degrees. And now it's just, uh, you know, again, calculator stuff a little bit and some arithmetic. So 6 squared is 36. This will be 16. 36 and 16 would be 52. 6 and 4 are 24. Give us 24 times uh, 2 would give us 48. So we'll have minus 48 times cosine of 24 degrees. So let's see, cosine of 24 degrees. I'm getting that to be roughly 0.9136. So let's see, if we take uh, 48 and multiply that by 0.9136, we'll get 43.8528. And now if we just subtract, so 52 minus 43.8528. I'm getting that to equal 8.14720. Well, if we take the square root, uh, the square root of both sides, keeping the positive solution, we'll be left with 2.85433. Uh, let's at least maybe round this off to 2.9. So that's it. Um, I would say the uh, you know the 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 uh, the short sides of our parallelogram uh, simply would have length uh, 2.9.